Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to knit this quick and easy little hat for a newborn baby up to six months old. You can make it for boys or girls. You can add a pom-pom or leave it without. And it's so easy to make, so I hope you like it. Okay, so let's get started. And thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'm going to be using these 2.5 millimeter kneading needles to make the brim. And then for the rest of the hat, I'm going to use three millimeter kneading needles. These are circular needles, but you can use straight needles because we're going to make this hat in rows. To do this, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. I'll be using this number three yarn. You can also use any DK weight yarn. Now I'll be using in the color white and then for the rest of the hat, I'll make it in pink. Like I said, the first thing we need to cast on our stitches. So I'm going to show you a method here on how to cast on your stitches. It's called the long tail cast on. To determine how much yarn we need to leave for the long tail, what I like to do is I like to wrap my yarn 20 times. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now we're going to remove our yarn from our needles. Now we have enough yarn here for 20 stitches. If we double it up, we have enough for 40. Double it up again, we have enough for 60. Double it up again, we have enough for 80. Now I need to cast on a total of 74 stitches. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm just going to make a slip knot here and now using both needles, I'm going to insert both needles like this through this loop. Now this yarn here is coming from our long tail and then this is coming from the skein. Now open the yarn like this, insert your finger and we're going to go from left to right and we're going to grab a loop like this. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and so on. You're just going to continue until you have 74 stitches on your needles. Now you can also use any other method. This is just a method that I like to use. So continue and I'll meet you once we have a total of 74 stitches on our needles to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting on my stitches. I have a total of 74. Here, this is all the yarn that I had left. So here at the end, just tie a small knot here. Now remove one of your needles, just pull one of them slowly and carefully. Now I have two border stitches. The first stitch we're always going to slip and the last stitch we're always going to purl. In this first row, I'm going to knit the first stitch, but only in this first row. So knit the first stitch and knit each one of the following stitches like this. So all we're going to do for this first row is we're going to knit each one of the stitches except for the last one, the last one we're going to purl. Okay, so continue like this for this first row and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. Now the last stitch here, I'm going to purl. Always remember to purl the last stitch. Now we're going to turn for the second row. So now here for the second row, we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit across. So knit each one of the stitches like this. And that's all I'm going to do. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this second row. Don't forget to purl the last stitch. I'm here at the end of the second row, the last stitch we always purl. And this is how I finish the second row. Now from here on, this is what we're going to repeat. We're going to do this for a total of eight rows. So here to start you off on the third row, remember to slip the first stitch and then knit each one of the stitches. This is how we're going to create the brim. Now, if you prefer, you can also knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Just remember to slip the first stitch and purl the last. And you can also make the brim in that way. Now, continue like this. Repeat this same row 
for a total of eight rows. So this is the third. So continue and make five more rows and I'll meet you at the end of the eighth row. Okay, I did a total of eight rows. This here is measuring about an inch, which is about 2.5 centimeters. Now, what we're going to do is I've already cut my yarn and I'm just going to attach this pink color here. I'm going to change color. So if you're not going to change color, you don't need to do this. You would just continue with the next step. But here, I'm just going to tie my yarn right about here. This is um, so that it's easier for me to just work the first row perfect so now what we're going to do is we're going to stop using the 2.5 millimeter kneading needles and we're going to switch to three millimeter kneading needles so to do this we're just going to stop using that and with the three millimeter kneading needles we're going to knit this next row so here let me show you the first stitch we're always going to slip and then we're going to knit three, purl three. That's the pattern. So knit three, one, two, three, and then purl three. One, two, three. Knit three, one, two, three, purl three. One, two, and three. This is all I'm going to do to the end of this row, so continue and I will meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this first row. These last three stitches here I purled, so the last stitch I'm also going to purl. Make sure that you also finish with these last four purl stitches. Now for the second row we're going to turn. Now for the second row we're going to slip the first stitch. We're going to knit three, one, two, three, and we're going to purl three. One, two, three. Knit three, one, two, three, purl three. One, two, three. That's all I'm going to do for the second row, so continue and I'll, and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of the second row. These last three stitches I purled, so the last stitch I'm also going to purl. And that's how I finished the second row. Now for the third row, up to row 38, this is all we're going to do. You're going to slip the first stitch, then you're going to knit three, and purl three. And that's all we're going to do. Knit three, purl three. That's the pattern. Don't forget to always slip the first stitch and purl the last stitch. Okay, so continue like this and I will meet you at the end of row 38 to show you what we need to do next. Okay, did a total of 37 rows with this color pink and the whole thing is measuring about 14 centimeters, which is about 5.5 inches. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to begin to reduce. So to do this, we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit these three stitches. One, two, three. Now the next three stitches, these are the purl stitches, we're going to purl three together like this. Now knit three, one, two, three, and purl three together. This is all I'm going to do for this row, so continue like this and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished this first row of reduction. Here at the end I purl these last three and purl the last stitch. Now we're going to turn for this second row what we're going to do is we're going to slip the first stitch we are going to knit the next stitch and then purl three one two three knit one purl three one two three knit one purl three this is all we're going to do for this second row, so continue and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. Here I'm going to purl the last stitch. Now the third row we're going to turn here and we're going to slip the first stitch 
Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to knit three together. So we can either knit three together like this through the front, but it's a little harder. So I'm just going to do it through the back like this. So knit three together. Now purl one and then knit three together. Purl one, knit three together. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Now we're going to turn for the fourth row. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to slip the first stitch and then we're going to knit the next stitch. Purl the next, knit, purl, knit, and purl. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I finished the fourth row, now we're going to turn. Now at this point, let's see how many stitches I have. I have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to slip this first stitch and we're going to knit two together. Knit two together. Knit two together. This is all we're going to do. Continue like this to the end of the fifth row. I'm here at the end of the fifth row. Now this last stitch we're going to purl. Now we're going to turn and in this row what we're going to do is we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to purl across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches. Now turn. Now in this last row, you can either close your hat here, but I'm going to make one more reduction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit two together to the end except for the first one where we're always going to slip and then you're going to knit two together. Okay, continue like this to the end of this row and I'll, I'll meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I finished this last row of reduction. I have two, four, six, eight stitches left. So now I've cut my yarn. So what we're going to do here is we're going to close the top. So just pass your yarn through this needle here and we're going to remove these stitches one by one. Just slip them out of the needles and put them in your needle here with your yarn. Perfect. Now hold on to this last loop here. Insert your needle through there and pull to close. This creates a small knot there. So now what you can do again is just go around these last few stitches like this and close it one more time. Perfect, and that's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to close our hat. Now, you can also turn this into a nice little bonnet if you were to sew this maybe halfway, and then just finish up the edges here and then add two strings on each side. But we're not making a bonnet this time, we're making a little hat. In another tutorial, I will show you how to do that. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to go along the very edge on both sides and we're going to close the hat. So here, the important thing is that you go from one side to the other, make sure that each row corresponds with each side. So here, I'm going to find the first stitch. And right here, 
you see there's a little bar that goes right across so I'm going to insert my needle through there and I'm going to find the corresponding row here on this side and do the same thing and this will you will see that gives us a nice clean seam go down the next row and do the same thing same thing down the next row right here and so on this is all I'm going to do to, to close the hat here so continue and I'll meet you right here at the end to show you the finished hat okay I finished closing my hat here all I did was just pull my yarn like this gently so that this part here closes a bit and as you can see that's what it looks like so now what we're going to do here is we're going to finish joining both sides so I just like to go here and then back into this side here and create like an eight and that closes this nicely now here all we do is just hide our ends along this side here like this in and out along the very edge come back down again do one or two stitches Perfect, and that should close this here. So now just cut your yarn and then do the same with this other end. I'll do that after I'm done. And this is what it looks like. Our little hat is done. Here's the top. That's what it looks like. So now let me try it on my little model here. The head circumference for this doll is about 15 inches, which is about 38 centimeters, and that is a size of a baby between three and six months old. Now, let's put this on. Perfect. Look at that. So this little hat here fits perfectly on a baby from three to six months. Now, let me try it on my other little doll. This one here, the head circumference is Let's see, 14 inches, which is about 35.5 centimeters. So this would be for baby between zero and three months. And look at that, it also fits. It's a little loose here in the top, but I don't think it's too bad. I think it's perfect too. Babies grow up so fast that I think that'll do as well. Now, let me try it on a newborn baby doll. This one here is wearing this blue and white that I did. I did it in the exact same way. So let's try it on her. This would be for a newborn baby. The head circumference for this baby doll is, um, it's about 13 inches, 12 and a half, 13 inches. So that would be for a newborn baby. Now, as you can see, it, it's slightly long, but no problem. You can just fold it like this. And then if it's perfect, then the baby can wear it for longer. Look at that. That's what it looks like. So now this little hat then, would be for a newborn baby up to six months. I love the way that this looks and here's what it looks like in light blue with white. You can make it for boy or girl. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.